It was in the late afternoon. The police received phone calls from concerned neighbors. The neighbors alerted the police about something that they had heard. Anna's screams were followed by gunshots, then more gunshots. Anna Marie Abulabin was a beautiful 28-year-old woman from San Diego, California. She was charming, intelligent, and down-to-earth. Anna was beautiful inside and out. She was originally born in Okinawa, Japan, to Filipino parents. Her father worked at a U.S. military base in Japan. Anna's life, already perfect by all accounts, became even better when she fell in love with Ali Abulabin. Ali was a young American soldier stationed at the same military base where her father worked. He was a year older than Anna. Ali had grown up in the U.S. He was an extrovert and aspiring artist from a young age. Then he joined the army at 14. It was love at first sight for the two. Ali and Anna embarked on a passionate whirlwind affair. Ali, in particular, had a big crush on Anna. He was obsessed. A year later, the two got married. Ali brought Anna to the U.S., specifically Virginia. Then they had a beautiful daughter. Ali stated he and Anna lived the American dream. The Abulabin family looked happy from the outside. Theirs was a fairy tale romance. Their daughter was beautiful. They had many friends. And they were quite popular among social media influencers. Ali was famous on TikTok. Ali, aka Jinkid on TikTok, had amassed almost a million followers. He was popular for his comedy skits, celebrity impersonations, and Skyrim parodies. Ali also had a decent following on Instagram and his YouTube channel. Meanwhile, Anna appeared in many of the skits. She also began producing her own content on Instagram. Meanwhile, Ali's obsession became toxic. Ali answered Anna's phone calls asking her friends why they were calling and what they wanted. It was clear that Ali didn't want Anna's friends to call her. Ali wanted Anna all to himself. The Abulabin family moved to San Diego into their high-rise apartment in February 2021. Anna and Ali were now surrounded by old friends and the many opportunities California had to offer. Ali focused on making content for his social platforms and his channel. Anna was still featured in some of the videos. And there were romantic moments of shared laughs and love declarations between the couple. However, the couple was covering up the reality of their relationship. Anna and Ali's relationship had grown abusive and dysfunctional by the day. Ali's love for Anna had grown into massive possessiveness. He wanted to control everything she did. He wanted to know Anna's movements every moment of the day. Anna's close friends even noticed. Above that, Ali carried a gun wherever he went, which made Anna feel uneasy. Ali was also very aggressive and rude. He talked over people, and he interrupted people in the middle of their sentences. Ali bragged about his social media success. Nonetheless, he couldn't handle seeing his wife's social life flourishing. He got jealous and paranoid. He also felt that Anna was partying a lot. It's unclear when Ali began using cocaine. But he was addicted. And he felt untouchable. He pulled out a bag of the drug once on Instagram Live. Then he inhaled it. On another occasion, Ali pulled out a huge bag of cocaine whilst in a bar with his cousin. Then he told his cousin that no one could touch him. He could do whatever he wanted. He was Jinkid. Ali's popularity was getting to his head. Then Ali began feeling like he was losing his grip on Anna. He scrolled through pictures of Anna all day. He told everyone how he loved her. And how he would never let anyone else have her. On the other hand, Anna was distraught with reason to believe Ali had cheated on her several times. Anna once knocked on the neighbor's door asking them to call the police because Ali had hit her and taken her phone away. She reportedly called the police on around eight to nine more separate occasions. Ali began going on outrage rampages on his social media. He insulted Anna in very disrespectful ways. It felt as if he was losing it. Anna couldn't take it anymore. She told Ali to move out. Then she filed for a divorce. Ali moved out to a Mission Bay hotel. But he was in denial. Little did Anna know that he secretly made a copy of the front door key. Ali wanted reconciliation, but Anna was only interested in taking legal action to solidify her separation. After their separation, Ali would contact Anna's phone all the time. He would call Anna's friends when he couldn't reach her. Ali felt like Anna was just punishing him. And she wasn't serious about the divorce. On October 21, 2021, 
Ali snuck back into the apartment and vandalized it while his wife was away. Then he installed a spy app on his daughter's iPad, which allowed him to hear what was happening inside the apartment. Anna returned home that day only to find a mess. Anna invited a male friend, 29-year-old Rayburn Cardenas Baron, later that day. Meanwhile, Ali was listening in on everything. He heard a male voice talking and laughing with his Anna. Ali stormed out of his hotel. He made his way to the apartment. Meanwhile, he prayed that Anna shouldn't have sex with the man. Ali flung the apartment door open. Anna and Rayburn were sitting on the couch. Ali opened fire on Anna and Rayburn. He waited for no explanation. He shot Rayburn three times in the neck, cheek, and the back of his head. Then he turned the gun to Anna and shot her point blank in the forehead. Ali then left the apartment building. He picked up his daughter from school. And he told her that he hurt her mommy. He then called his mother and confessed to killing Anna. Then he called 911. Ali lied to the police that he had visited the apartment only to find his wife and her friend shot. Ali stated that he wasn't responsible for the double homicide. However, the police tracked Ali down and arrested him. The family and friends of Anna and Rayburn were informed of the devastating news. Ali pleaded not guilty to two counts of murder and other charges in court. His trial is still ongoing. Prosecutors can pursue the death penalty if he is convicted. Anna's best friend couldn't believe that Anna was gone when she received the news. She stated, 